who needs to know about wild plants and their edibility? These technological times have equipped us with all the necessities, and we can get whatever we want, simply by pressing a button. This refers to food and drugs, as well. It may seem that we have gained independence from our nature, but here comes some SHTF event, and we are again, at the beginning. All of the natural disasters, which have become more frequent in recent years, remind us of our roots and the necessity of building or revitalizing strong connections with our mother nature, if we want to survive. Among vital skills that have contributed to our stay on this planet, recognizing and using edible plants hugely matter. We should remember the uselessness of social media and superhuman programs when compared to a natural disaster that requires knowledge of nature and its elements to deal with the troubles effectively. As you are well aware of the necessity of reminding ourselves of forgotten skills, let's start instantly. It is not only about preparing to survive a potential catastrophe. Spending time in nature does miracles to your mental and physical health. Nowadays, one of the most used adjectives for food is organic. And we're to search for organic and healthy food, but in nature, it is wild food that is healthy and organic. Whenever you spend some time in nature, it is a special feeling when you pick some berries or wild plants and consume them. There is some joy, right? Even if you decide on living off the grid, you need to know what is edible in nature. It is of vital importance to be absolutely certain about wild nature products, as there are many poisonous ones. Therefore, it is essential to learn on the spot. No picture, no videos. Go out there and learn to identify edible plants. Not once, but many times, to gain confidence and solidify your knowledge. Consulting locals is a great advantage. So go and make connections. Work on enriching your experience. Here is a little help with some of the edible plants. You have already seen dandelions, haven't you? Even in your backyard. You can find them practically anywhere. They are easiest to use all of their parts. Whether you want them raw or boiled, just go for them. There are dandelion salads. Even some wine is made from their flower petals. Their ground roots can be used for making a coffee-like beverage. There are those white parachutes. They are edible, but people avoid them due to their texture and taste. Alliums or garlic, onion, and the rest of their wild cousins have been used both as food and natural remedies for a long time. There are phytonutrients and moderate amounts of vitamins and minerals, which make them healthy. Raw or cooked, it is up to you. These plants have a specific smell that you may find strong and not very pleasant, but you will just need time to get used to. Just do not avoid them. Miner's lettuce can be found in the West and California, in particular. As its name implies, the Gold Rush miners were using it to prevent scurvy. Although all of its parts are edible, it is the leaves that are most commonly used for salads. Wild asparagus presents a good source of dietary fibers, vitamin B6, magnesium, zinc, and calcium. It is recommendable to eat only young samples, because the plant turns woody and bitter as it gets old. Similar to dandelions, broadleaf plantain seems to grow everywhere. Its young and tender leaves are good to eat raw in a salad, as they contain calcium, beta-carotene, and some other minerals. Its cooked version tastes like spinach. When it gets older, its leaves become tough and fibrous, yet you can use them in survival situations to make a cord or fishing line. If you are in some arid or desert landscapes, try to find prickly pears, cacti which produce tasty fruit rich in vitamin C and magnesium. Their young leaves and stems have 88% of water, so you can eat them as well. Prickly pears are widely popular in Mexico. They're used for all sorts of dishes, soups, salads. And these are acorns, edible and nutritionally rich in proteins, carbs, fat, B group vitamins, manganese, magnesium, phosphorus, and calcium. However, they are not ideal because of bitter tannins. Therefore, it is better to leach acorns to get rid of these phytochemicals. Berries here, berries there, berries everywhere. As a good source of vitamins in the wilderness, most of them grow on prickly shrubs. Still, beware of the existence of poisonous types of berries that look attractive and tasty. Indigenous to the USA and 26 states, pawpaw looks like mango. Its sweet taste is similar to the banana one, with a touch of mango and pineapple. This tasty nature product is rich in vitamins C and A, and very rich in manganese, iron, and magnesium. However, when you pick it, make sure to use it as soon as possible. You see how it is nice to get some information about the edibility of some of the wild plants, 
the information about our nature. When it comes to all natural treasures, we are indeed ignorant, now more than ever. But, like any ignorance, it can be defeated by waves of knowledge. Although we are starting from scratch, unlike previous generations of our fathers, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, the journey is definitely unforgettable, beneficial, satisfying, joyous. It is high time to become a generation that will pass the knowledge about wild plants to the youth. At least let's make sure to do at least one good everlasting thing for us, future generations, and our planet.